Okay guys, I'm back. We are back to do the second half. Okay. This is hardened up. And the second half should be just as easy. Just gotta get this stuff out of the way. Alright, now. Yeah, this is good and hard now. This is nice and hard. Alright, so we're gonna turn this this way. Alright. Let me wedge this up underneath of here so you can watch what I'm doing. Alright, so. What we're doing is we're going to peel this tin foil back over to the other side. And then we're going to remove the cards. separate the mold. If you know what I mean. And this is why I had to make sure Concentrating. Hold on. Okay. So now we're going to take out the uh, cards. And this is my new dividing wall right here. I'll worry about this later. And there's a couple pieces that... Gotta make sure I don't get any tape for that. What did I do with that tape roll? I just had it here a second ago. What did I do with that roll of tape? Oh, there it is. That shoved way back here, fell back. Just want to make sure there's no resin. Exposed. That's a nice dividing wall. And there's a little bit of leakage underneath it here, but that's nothing to worry about. And I'll show you why. Let's see what I did here. I had to uh, hold on. Blah, 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 blah. So I put all this tin foil. Right up to the edge instead of that taped stuff because the tape's still on the cards that I just removed. And over here, I've got a big gap to fill, so I have to fix that. All right, no big deal. A little 
little bit less at a time here. I noticed this when I was close the gap right there so I have to I'll fix it don't worry I'll really shove that up inside of there real good So what happens is the tin foil doesn't really grab to the uh, that wall too well. So you'll have little little spots where you'll have to re-implement some tape. But this doesn't matter because once I put the the uh, the uh, plastic on this side, then I have to um, I also have to put little register little areas where I'm going to put some clay so I can stick my wedge in between there and be able to pry it apart pretty easily. If you know what I mean. clay do I want to use? I can't use... Oh, maybe I can. Hold on. Let me see what this soft clay does. We only need little tiny spots. But before I do that, i got to make sure this is folded over nicely. See what we're trying to avoid happening. And what we're trying to avoid is any resin. Coming over to this side. I'll put a little piece of tape there. Not that much tape. sticking this across here and another piece down here because we don't want the resin creeping over to the other side on us we can't afford that to happen okay so again and make sure that this is right there right there and then I need my clay where did I just put it right here okay so what we're trying to do is we're just trying to create a little spot where I can put 
my uh, screwdriver, wedge my screwdriver in there, so. Little pieces of clay like this, I'm not perfectly shaping it, it doesn't matter because it's only a spry, it's only a pry spot. So we'll go right dead center. I don't want it going too deep into the the resin. Somebody said hello. Maybe not. Anyway. So what we're doing here is sticking to the, the plan. A little more clay. getting dinged by somebody and I just don't see who it is. I'm just going to make sure that this is thick wherever I put this clay. Clay, clay. And all that's all that's doing is once I put the, the, the plastic up against here, the resin, and it's only got, the resin's only going to go as high as this this aluminum foil is now, and the clay will stick up just a little bit past that, and when that hardens, I'll be able to stick a screwdriver in there. Yeah, it'll mash the clay. I don't care, but I'll be able to pry this thing apart with ease. I shouldn't have too many problems with this. That's thick. Yeah, that's thick. Okay. Got enough for two more registration, or say, say, pry spots. Check your messages in a second here, guys. That's a good spot right there. And I'm going to go one down low, two down here, and one over here. Just got to get some more clay. And then we got to paint on some, and you'll see this process now. Then I can talk to you guys for a minute. I'll be able to talk to you in a minute. I think I need to go too much further than that, so I'm going to put that piece right here. I won't need to do that because that's going to pull apart this way. It'll drop right off. It should, anyway. More clay. I need some soft clay. some soft clay. So 
going to make sure it's nice and thick wherever I'm prying. That's why I'm touching the back side. Wherever I pry, I've got to make sure that it's thick. don't think I need those pry spots, but I'm going to keep them there anyway, just in case. Just in case. Okay, that's enough for the pry spots. Now, let me put uh, YouTube on here because I keep getting notifications. So, let me see. Let's get YouTube back up. Asylum Beyond the Dead, he's back. Yes, I am, brother. I am back, and I'm feeling pretty good. I'm getting a lot of phlegm in my throat lately, though. Um, last couple, that's why my voice has been really wacky. It's been like this for a couple weeks. I'm not sick. I definitely have more energy. Um... I, I can read your comments now. So here's what I'm going to do. Let me push my chair over here. Again. Because I'm working on music and doing... And you know how it is with YouTube. I can't be playing any kind of music in the background. Because they will cut it off in a blink. Okay, so... Now... Let me where the hell my grabber here. Because I need that cup. I need that cup that I dropped. You get older, it's always nice to have the grabber. You don't like bending. It hurts. It hurts to bend. All right, so I don't need that. There's my mixing cups. All right, now we're going to break out the paste wax again. We're going to break out the paste wax. And this is the paste wax right here. And I, hope, I don't know if we have this. Now, I didn't show you this process in the last video, but you'll see it now. So, um, between the paste wax going on and I get this I get this paste wax at Betty Mold um, love that stuff okay so I got a brush ready to go I already kind of prepared for that now this time I want to make sure that I have plenty of wax all over the face of that and on here. Um, then I got to spray. Then I got to use the spray release, which is this here over top of all of it. Then I mix up my batch of stuff. Um, 
pushing into, I wonder if that's on camera. Can you see the paste wax being pushed? Yes, okay, good. You can see everything on the top, on the top of this. Good. I'm loading up the, the brush pretty good with the paste wax. Now what I'm going to do is, you see how this tin foil here, because I can't put tape on it, so i got to make sure I go in this direction with the paste wax. And I'll go over the edge of this thing real good. All the way around. Especially if there's any resin right in that crack. I want to make sure that's hidden. Load up. And I can't, I can't go this way because if I do that, I'll peel that tin foil right, right off of there. Oh, I, I just did it, didn't I? Now, I know the paste, uh, the resin won't stick to the clay. But it doesn't hurt to do it anyway. And I, I, I want to get the surface done first. This will take about 10 minutes before I can start Gotta let this paste wax dry a little bit before you go and move on to the next chapter. Piece of resin right there sticking out, but that's uh, so small it won't hold it. It will never withstand the pressure. Damn it. Did it again, damn it. Okay, let me turn it back so we can see what we're doing here. All right now, I have to go back up this way because. This is acting as a release agent. Keeps the resin from sticking to each other, sticking to the wall, sticking to anything. It won't stick to it. I'm not going to do the edge until I get this completely applied. Yeah, this, this mask making stuff, man, I love it, but it is a process. And you can't... can't rewrite things. you got to do it the way it's supposed to be done. And, all right, now I'm going to start doing around this edge. So I don't have to worry about anything sticking to the...
taking this on pretty quick. I'm just worried about the edge, that's all. If it gets a little bit on the loose tin foil, it's not going to hurt nothing. Once I get pushing on that, that should. All right. All right, now let's get the rest of this puppy. Make sure you get it into the holes, any kind of little bit of divots or holes that are in your, your silicone. I'll do the same thing now I did thicken the other wall on the edge I, I made a small batch up and thickened up all that wall Should be really gold here, man. We should have a really nice release. Shouldn't have any problems with this mold. And believe it or not, I'm making clay heads from here. Um, and even if there's a little bit of imperfections, it's nothing. You just take clay and fix it. Um, you don't. I mean, when I say imperfections, I'm so I'm talking so minute that. It's going to be really difficult to uh, um, even see the imperfections. I'd see the imperfections because I'm a perfectionist, but that's just the way I am. That's the way I'm built. And I want to make sure I get up underneath of here so none of the resin sticking under anything underneath of this. Okay, now I gotta let that dry for a few minutes before I can spray the, the release onto the uh, seal of my face wax. You know, the, by the time I spoon feed, uh, spoon feed, yeah, right. Say that three times. Hold on, that's not shut. Okay. By the time I get the the resin out of here, out of these cups, give me a sec here. Oh, don't want that to happen. I'll just hold that tape over. Now. So we got to do a, a fast
So in case you don't know, this is how this stuff comes. That's Plasti Paste. Plasti Paste 2. And this is part B. And it's thick, and I mean real thick. Alright, so now I've got more sticks that are not... Okay. Maybe these ones. These look like they're thicker too. They look a little thicker. No, they're not. Oh well. Thought they were, but they're not. Anyway, let me mix this up since it's a little lower and easier to handle. You're supposed to mix this all the time. But this stuff's so thick and strong that it really doesn't. Need steeled sticks because they will break. Oh, that's that's mixed up thoroughly. That's mixed already. We're good. We are good there. All right, so we just need to fill these cups up. I'm gonna shove that down inside of there so I don't get trapped there. I'm mashing it up against the walls. In the cup, I'm mashing it up into the cup like this because I don't want any trapped air along the walls. Shove it in there, mash it against the walls. There. Shove it up inside of the, the cup, mash it against the walls. Now, see, I don't, I don't have a lot of trapped air. I got a little bit. But nothing, nothing I worry about. We just need an accurate dose of this stuff. A, a fairly reasonable okay that's one cup and we're going to fill the other cup get it down inside the cup put it up against your wall smash it in there good it's all the walls. I just smashed it in. This is just important to make sure that your measurements are, uh, you know, you're getting the accurate amount. If you have a lot of trapped air in there, you're not getting the, the actual right amount ratio. Uh, it's two of these cups full with one full cup of hardener. And if you don't have the right amount in there, you're going to have problems. It won't. I don't know. If you just have more hardener in there, would that make a difference? I don't know. I don't know if it does or not. But this is almost done. It only took about 45 minutes to harden, but I wanted to wait just a little extra time to harden that up real good. Um, I still, I still have enough plasti paste to do another project, which I have an idea of which one I'm going to do with that. I have enough silicone to do two projects, and enough plasti paste possibly for one project of those two. I don't know though, I might be able to get away with uh, both of those projects, I just won't have the the, the resin won't be as thick. I want to make sure the resin's thick on this because I don't want to have to
deal. Now, I may not have a problem with the uh, the wall on this one because the wall is not as high. I won't have to worry about that. A little bit of trap there down the bottom, I'm not going to worry about that. I can't worry about everything. Okay. Okay, we'll put that down here because I use that still. And the next, don't waste anything. You know, it's it's stuff costs so much money. You know what I'm messing with right here is five hundred and fifty dollars worth of material. And believe me, you don't want to waste any of it Not unless you're loaded. I ain't loaded. I ain't. Any war bucks, that's for sure. All right, so that's out of the way. Now, I'll need this extra container. All right, so now that's dried long enough. So I'm going to spray this. Spray release. to dry for a few minutes that spray release releases uh, resin so that's a good thing I want to let that dry for about 10 minutes and I can take on your questions because I've got my computer up behind me that's where I'm walking now I'm gonna open up this door to get this airflow but I can while that's drying, I'll sit and talk to you guys, answer any questions. As long as that that plasti uh, paste isn't mixed with the uh, in fact, just getting it ready, getting ready to. Uh, See how much, how far is this going to go? Okay. I see. I need to fill that container up. stuff into this bucket right here
place to put it. Perfect. Now I'm not mixing that yet because I gotta let that stuff dry. I'm leaving this in this bucket. Leave that in there. And then I'll throw that into that when I, when that's dry. And meanwhile, let me answer some questions. Right? And that what we're going to do? We're going to chat a little bit? Oh, man. Come on. All right. Okay, that's fine. Knocking the camera all over the hell of place. All right, let's see. It's silent. Yes, that's the resin. That's called Plasti Paste 2. Asylum, what's happening, buddy? All right, we got three watching. And that's including myself, so there's two people on here. Hmm. And that's okay. You, I know, I, I understand. Sometimes you can't, you can't post or text. You might be driving. You might be listening on your phone. Um, so. Paste wax is, uh, it's actually, they created paste wax. It used to be a product that, yeah, I saw you, I see your icons different, man. It's pretty cool. I like it. I, I have to see it close up. I think it's a Michael Myers. Looks like Halloween 2, right? Behind you. It's really tough because the icon's small on my computer. But anyway, I, dig I digress. And, uh. Here's what I'm saying. Okay, uh, place to pay. Uh, yeah, it's it's it's. Uh, I'll I'll zoom if you can. Hmm. The silicone. If you're looking at the camera, you're looking at the, uh, the, the you're looking at the sculpture on the right hand side is the silicone. The plasti paste. It's called plasti paste. P l a s t i. Dash paste. P a s t e. All right, so, um, yeah, so getting back to what I was trying to say. Man, I got this plastic crap all over my hands. But it peels right off. Well, not bad. It comes off pretty easy. Uh, you know what's worse than this, by far? Spray foam. You get spray foam on your hands, forget about it. It is a nightmare getting off. All right, so, um, yeah, plasti paste looks edible. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not, trust me. <laughs> uh, it's not, it's not, it's not edible. edible. Uh, paste wax, getting back to that question. They used to use that product, believe it or on, believe it or not, on, uh, terrazzo floors like if you went into a bakery and they would throw paste wax down on the floor to protect the surface and give it a little bit of a sheen but um, my father used to do floors when, he, when I was young he would go in and he would use paste wax and, a, and it would clean the floor too it would use paste wax but in this situation we're using it as a barrier um, to keep the resin from sticking uh, it literally, it, paste wax, it's kind of like the wax that you put on your car. I wouldn't recommend doing it, but it's kind of like uh, the wax that you would put on your car. You put it on and it kind of dries and it turns that milky white. You can see that it's already turning on, in, on the, uh, and it's pretty dry. And the, um, 
and once that dries up, we're gold. We can we can uh, we can start putting the uh, resin on this side of the shell. Oh yeah. So then I got to find my screwdrivers. I'll do that off camera. Uh, my flathead screwdrivers. I, I bought I bought two new ones, but somebody kind of borrowed them and they disappeared, and I haven't found them yet. So now I got to probably run to Harbor Freight and go buy two new screwdrivers, flatheads, the big ones, the heavy duty babies. So I got to find them. Probably right in front of my face. Uh, I'm leaving the clay that's on the armature right where it's at. No reason to take the, the clay off the armature. I'm using monster clay, and it's like a it's a wax-based clay. Some some people call it oil-based. It's not really oil-based. It's wax-based. Monster clay is wax-based clay, and uh, it never hardens. It never goes bad. It doesn't. You can I, that that same clay has been on that armature for two years. And you're still able to uh, sculpt on it. You don't have to change anything. I can just change the way it looks. I can make a new monster. I can reshape the head. I can do whatever I want. There's no purpose to absolutely take all the, uh, the uh, clay. Now, if you're using wet clay, which is a water-based clay, then yes, you would have to remove that clay because that clay would harden to a rock over time, uh, no matter how hard you try to... Uh, maintain that clay by putting water on it and stuff it, that's why I don't like I don't like using uh, wet uh, wet clay I only use wet clay for uh, water based clay uh, I only use that for like walls barrier walls and stuff like that when I'm, um, I'm making the, like a dividing wall uh, it's the only time I use wet clay it is cheaper it's, it's cheaper to sculpt with it but if you're a real fast, uh, a real fast sculptor, uh, then wet clay is probably the best way to go. But I'm not real fast, and I'm slow. It took two years to get to where I'm at now with this sculpture. And I don't mean you know steady every day. I didn't work on it every day. I, I probably got literally. If I say two years, it took me. I probably got. Uh, if I was to break it down to like, there's no way I'm doing eight hours sculpting. I, I wouldn't do that no matter what. So let's say I worked on it four hours a day times two, that's that's eight hours every two days. I probably got a total in real work time about six months of work into the uh, sculpture. Uh, but two years in the making, you know, because I just took my time. I didn't rush. Sometimes I walked away for two, three weeks before I went back to it. Um, you know, you just have to... Uh, through discovery, that was the other thing too. I, as, as I would get to points where where I would sit there and go, okay, uh, I've seen everything I can see. I need to learn more to see, you know, where I can fix this to make it a little bit better. You know, uh, how do I, I, you know, we only have two dimensional pictures from the original mask. Um, there are some really good masks out there uh, that represent the Halloween 1 and Halloween 2 mask but we don't have three dimensional pictures to see every angle to see every nook and cranny we're, we're, all of us are best we're guessing what we're looking at uh, to recreate that three dimensional uh, face on, on, you know for making that mask <clears throat> you know and uh, honestly you know, I, I found a lot of mistakes that I made over this time. And that's why I really took my time with it. I didn't want to rush this thing. I wanted to make sure that I really gave this a really, really, really good look. And now it's crumbs of clay that I can change if I need to. I'm not working with like big, like, oh, there's this, I have to redo the lips completely. I won't have to redo anything extreme to make this uh, current sculpture um, the uh, you know the, the sculpture that I finished here even with the re even with the uh, silicone mold now I, I'm going to replicate that head in clay 
multiple times. I'm going to probably do a 2018, a kills and an ends mask version of my sculpture, though. Not, I'm not going to try and replicate the actual movie. Uh, it's going to be this Night Creeper 78 turned into a um, an ends, a kills, and so on and so on. And then I'm going to do a concept mask. And the clay that's actually on the armature right now, I'm going to start working on the flashback. Uh, that's going to be next. Yes. Asylum, you said it right there. Is the flashback next? Yes, I'm going to start that right away. Because uh, that's going to be, I'm going to have to change the shape of the head some uh, to make it look more like the flashback. Um, the features, uh, they're a little different. Um, but I'm going to start working towards the flashback right after this, uh, right after I demold this. Uh, I'm, I wouldn't say de hmm, how do I want to do that? Before I start sculpting that and altering that, that, that armature, uh, my plan is to make a clay uh, copy. I'm going to have to make a clay copy. Uh, of the uh, of the head, so I can make a solid one piece uh, Ultra Cal 30 uh, mold over the the new clay head, and the reason for that is is because then it'll be a hollow it'll be hollow the the, the thickness of the clay is only going to be probably like an inch thick, all right, but it'll be It'll be well thick enough to support. Um, it'll support the hard shell that I'm going to put over top of it. Now I'm going to make it a one-piece mold. Then I'm going to pull that clay out of there. All right, and I want to make sure that, that the mold delivers a really nice mask before I start altering that sculpture, because I can do it one of two ways. I can, uh, I can make a new copy of this uh, in clay um, and make a one-piece mold. And if that fails and it doesn't really look good, um, I can always just do another uh, two-part mold over top in stone. Uh, do a two-part mold over top of the current sculpture because there's not going to be any damage to this uh, when I demold this. It really is going to be a, uh, a uh, pretty uh, awesome. It'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. All right, it's almost time to get back to work. Now I'm going to mix in the cup of uh, resin. Uh, hardener into the uh, plasti paste. Give it a good mix and start putting the uh, plasti paste on the sculpture. And uh, I'm going to put my glasses on first. Now I got to move my chair back over to the work and I'm going to shut the door because it's getting chilly out there. Now that the air is clear from that spray, shut the door. <clears throat> now the clock's ticking. As soon as I mix this together, I've got to get this resin, or yeah, I got to get this plasti paste onto the sculpture immediately. Come on in. I'm live. What's up? Hi. I'm getting ready to put the other shell on. Almost broke my stick. 
any fun when that happens. So I'm trying to stay on camera here as I'm mixing. See how it is? See how it gets? It'll, it'll mix up real nice once I... Just try not to break the stick, because the stick, I mean, this stuff is so thick. All right, let me show you. See how it's coming together now? Now, this will be a lot easier on this wall, because... mixed. First thing I want to do is get in here real good. was a trouble spot right there. That was a trouble spot. Got to make sure I shove it in there good. I got to get this on here. I can't be playing. Gotta get moving. I can feel that I can feel the heat building up on this already. I want to do the walls first. Stay on the stick. I want to stay on the stick. 
thick. Making sure that this wall is thick. Especially where the pry areas are. Sorry for blocking your view, but I gotta really move fast because this stuff is really, really, really getting hot and sticky. Get up there. I am gonna make another batch, but I want to make sure I got a complete coverage on on this bad boy. What the hell was that? Did you just go up in my chin? This is thin on this particular coat right in here. Alright, it's getting too grabby now, so I can't. Gotta be careful now. Really? It's 
Stay there. So I'm not too concerned with that because Okay, that's done. That's all we're going to get out of this bad boy. I got one more of these containers left. I need to empty some trash. Go get this crap off of my. On this area here, it's still really thin. That's all right. I'm going to make a half a batch. And I'm going to thicken up the walls, and I'll put a coat on here, too. So it'll be nice. Let me empty this trash real quick. Get ready for the next... Can of trash that I'm going to create. That'll be that'll be nice and hard in the next. Um, that stuff in the bucket there. I need to go get this out here. Not that hard. Let me go wash my hands real quick. Then I'll be making another batch. <laughs> yes, it is. That's the red. Yeah, well, there's different versions of the flashback, but I'm trying to go off the screen used mask. I'm not trying to, I don't think that there's different versions uh, that he used. Hang on, let me, I'll be right back.
almost there. There we go. Fresh new trash bag. And now, I'm going to start the process of putting more plasti paste in. I'm only going to make a half a container, so I need one, one full of the one, one of these, and a half a cup of the other. So let's do it. there for now. That's the resin. Yeah, I think I'm... I think on the other projects that I do, I'm just going to use stone. Uh, my Ultra Cal 30. What the hell? Because I'm going to use my Ultra Cal thirty. That's a nice thick stick. Of course, they were all like that. Damn it. Pushing up against the walls. Yeah, I don't care if I use all the plasti paste on this project because, honestly, I think uh, it's more important that I have a nice shell for this project because... that and we need this after I hammer this back on I'm not using that container for that I just use my scissors go away enough. Actually, we're done with the two cup mix anyway. So we don't need another cup anymore. What I do need
Now, what I'm going to do real quick before I mix these two together, measure them out about a half a cup. That should do it. If I need to use it all up, I will, as far as the resin goes. I don't have enough part two anyway. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out of here. Came out pretty good. Don't. Yeah, I'd better keep this. Uh, keep this one. Keep this one just just in case I need it. In case I need to make more. I'm only going to do another half batch. That's it. If I need to. All right now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over top of this stuff and just knock out all these sharp edges. See, this stuff still... Knocking out all the sharp, sharp stuff. It's like, it's like uh, sticky Play-Doh right now. So, I can smooth it out a little bit. All those little tiny fiber, little fine hairs will become very sticky. It'll stab you. You don't want that. Come on, stay still. It's going to work out pretty nice. Now this is, this little round plug here, once this hardens around this, what will happen is this plug pulls this, the silicone out and, you know, goes through these holes that will be in the hard resin shell. This way you won't have to worry about the, the silicone collapsing on itself inside the mold when you're when you're pouring the clay in it. That's what I'm doing. I'm creating a little bit of a... All 
right, so we are just about there. Yes, I want to. Are you still on air? Yep. Why? What's up? What's up? <laughs> no, you don't want to come in here. coming on fire. Beer. No wine. That's fine. No wine. All right. We'll go once I get done here with the That's stream. That's what I'm saying. Like, um, wine messes you up bad. I Everything's straight now with Kyle. Oh, good. Yeah, which I was made think because I didn't want to, um, I did not want to cancel his insurance. So I called the insurance company. I'm getting like six, over six, nine hours back. Go back that way a little bit, will you? Camera's on. She just got out of the shower. <laughs> Almost naked. For my eyes only, let's just put it that way. Okay. That's not ready to go yet. That has to be harder. Clean this up a little bit. I don't want that plastic all over my. Right now it's still got some play in it, so it'll come off easy. See? It's still pleck it's still flexible. But if I wait and let that turn to hard resin, man, that'll that'll be next to impossible to get off of this. I'm starting to harden there. Where now it's not sticky to where it's gonna leave stuff all over your hands. It's just uh, I'm just cleaning. That's all I'm doing right now. Cleaning up a mess. Get it before it gets hard. It's hard and that actually came off pretty easy. All right. Okay. Once around. I'm sure there's nothing in here. This is all hard stuff here. But it's not sticking to this. That's awesome. That side's nice. This side still has to have more. Needs more dry time. Needs more dry time.
takes about 45 minutes to really harden. So we need to uh, leave it alone and let that cure for a few minutes. Let me go back over to the TV or the monitor, so to speak. So I can read your comments if there are any. So we got about probably like 15 minutes before I can start putting the next and she was standing oh ha <laughs> ha yep that's my wife yeah she had a towel when she wasn't naked Yeah, and yeah, a wife, she, she's a little bashful. She hates it when I go on live. And she wants to ask me something or talk to me about something. and Can't really interrupt me when I'm doing this. But she does anyway. So, now I just hurry up and wait a few more minutes. Anybody got any more coming? <laughs> But my, my, my lady stayed nice and skinny all, all through our marriage, even with having two kids. I gotta get something to scrape this shit off my hand. Mm-mm-mm. I lied. The uh, plastic does want to stick to your skin. If you mash it in too much, and I was mashing it in. I don't know how I mashed it in, but I did. Oh, I know what I did. When I was rubbing the... Uh, Yes, I'm still on. I'm not going anywhere yet. I gotta wait till this. I got another coat to do. Are you done with your? Uh... You dressed? Yeah. Okay. Cause you were on camera. No, I didn't want to be on camera. I know. I told you not to come in. Well, I wasn't in that much. I stood out in the doorway. Yeah, no, you're good. I know. I know Asylum I says hello. He liked your sexy tail. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? No, he didn't say that. I said that. <laughs> he'll, he'll get a he'll get a nice chuckle out of that. All right, you ready? No, I'm in the middle of doing that. I still got I still got one more coat to put around the edge of this. All right. You're gonna have to wait a minute. You're gonna have to chill. I can't. The Phillies are coming on in a half hour. I don't give a damn. I do. I want to see them. This is. Well, I mean, we'll see them. We'll we'll see them. We'll catch it. You know, the game's never won until the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. I don't know, but it's still exciting. It's still We're exciting, Phillies Dad. fans. We're Phillies fans. Yeah, of course. Yeah. We're still all. Philadelphia fans, regardless, till the end. Oh yeah. If the Flyers ever ever did anything, we'd be the same way with them too. It's like you live live where I live. Most of us immigrated from Philadelphia. Yeah. And uh, we're Philadelphia Flyers, Phillies, Eagles fans. Yeah. We are who we are. 
Definitely that. We root for the winning team. Oh, we suffered many years. Yeah. Yeah. We suffered many years. We're finally starting to win. God. What are you doing that you? Trying to get this plastic off my thumb. That shit. I was smoothing it out and I got hit a sticky spot and it stuck to my thumb. Thumb. Your thumb. Your my thumb. thumb. Your thumb. F U M B. My thumb. F U M B. Thumb. Could That's be my bum. <laughs> Could be <laughs> worse funny. than be my bum. Thumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually funny. Your thumb. F U M B. Not your thumb. T H U M B. I'm getting spelling lessons. <laughs> it sits for probably about, well, another, I'm going to say another 15 minutes and that'll be ready to put on another coat, final coat. I only have, I have the stuff sitting in the pail. If you look uh, right to the left-hand side of the, uh, the sculpture on the screen, I have it ready to go. I just have to mix it. You don't want to mix it until you're ready, though, because the hardener will activate and... God, this stuff sucks. Takes a... Uh... The set time on this is actually 45 minutes between coats. You, uh, so I pretty much have been sitting waiting now for at least, I'm going to say, half hour since I put that on. I have to I have to thicken that wall up or else we're gonna have a problem with it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to break out some sandpaper to get this shit off my thumb. So yeah, that's uh yeah, it's about 45 minute wait time. Uh, I'm aware that the trillium masks are going to be on your sculpture with details. But are you concerned about the end the end details because most of the features are Grouped. No, I, I mean I can I can replicate the ends. I can change my I can alter my sculpture, you know, to make it a little bit more droopy. Um, I just don't want to over. I'm not like I don't want to change the whole shape of the head. That's the main thing. The features can be changed and altered a little bit, but I'm not going to change the whole shape of my head. I tried to base that off of the original. Uh, you know, well, we're going to see. That's going to be a big experiment. I can't wait to get into that, you know, to see how I can change the uh, look uh, of the uh, of this piece of work. You know, it'll be fun. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good winter. It'll be a good winter. I'm losing a lot of weight, feeling good. Yep. Hmm. 
well, I know one thing that the mask, the uh, the uh, the ends mask is is actually a bigger sculpture. It's actually a bigger mask. It went from I think uh, 20, 24 and a half inch. All right, so the twenty eighteen is a twenty four inch mask. The Kills mask was twenty four and a half inches, and the ends mask is a twenty five inch mask, if not a little bigger. Um, so they were definitely altered in size and in uh, in production when it, when when he when he sculpted it he re sculpted that mask. So now. If your question is how, why, why did they? I don't even know why they did it. I don't know why they changed the kills. They should have left the kills just the way it was, and then just put that mold on there. And there you go. You would have had it. But they resculpted the whole thing. That was obvious. Um, I have both masks, the kills and the and the ends mask, and they are different. They're different sculptures. But like I said, I'm not trying to replicate every detail of those masks. I mean, you guys can go out and get that at Trick or Treat Studios. Now, when those masks become no more available, and that will happen at some point, Trick or Treat Studios will stop producing it and then and you won't be able to get it. You'll be buying collector's pieces, you know, uh, you'll be looking for those masks and they'll be, you know, scarce. And, uh, you know, at some point, it's hard to get the kills mask already. Um, I like the kills out of all of them the most. There you go, I just told you. <laughs> I like the kills, I do. Um... I like the movie kills was better than 18 and ends. Ends was horrible. I just, I, I don't, I'm telling you the truth. I would never watch that movie again. That's how bad I hated ends. I never even want to think about that movie. I love the mask. Man, I'm still picking this damn shit off my fingers. You love the the ends mask. Well, I, I think I think kills and ends. Those two masks are they're great. They're great masks, and uh, they did a hell of a job. I think the ends mask. Uh, the difference in that one, other than the size, is they did a much better paint scheme on it. Yeah, I don't even watch the Rob Zombie ones. I'm not a big fan of him. I don't really like the mask, Rob Zombie. It didn't give you that Michael Myers feel. It just... I don't know. I can't put my finger on what what comes to mind when I see Rob Zombie's version of Michael Myers outside of, you know, maybe Jason, you know. I don't know. I'd say the movie was, you know, the first one. I, the second one, I did see Rob Zombie's part two, and that sucked. That was as bad as ends. Actually, ends is worse. But, okay, time to mix. Let me go check this resin. It should be hard. And i got to mix this stuff up. Fancy? Damn it, I can't. It's still hard. It's still soft. It's still a little soft. I gotta wait a few more minutes. Actually, no, I don't. 
I don't think by the time I mix that, that'll be hard. I'll be good. Now I need to thicken that wall. And a little bit on the bottom of the neck. In this area and around this edge. And I'll have our perfect resin shell. Okay. Mixing this stuff up like crazy. I didn't use a big bucket this time because I'm only using half. this a little bit better than I did the last one. I still saw some puddles of resin uh, hardener. There we go. what that looks like through and through it looks pretty good okay so first thing I'm going to do is get this in position to really thicken up this wall here Down here is thick enough, I don't have to worry about that. What I do want to do is put some resin right in here. I can't, can't rush this process. Okay, that's really thick. Gotta make sure these walls are thick because when I go to pry this apart, if those walls aren't thick, it'll crack this resin. do is I'll take the grinder outside and I'm going to separate this and separate it. Too many drips on my spatula. the wall nice and thick here guys a 
that's the most important part, believe it or not, is this wall. nice thing about this plastic piece is it sticks to itself real good. Okay, that's done. But now, get this thing closer. Now you can see by having the can on that angle, you can see how thick I made that wall. Yes, I want the extra mile. I made it extra thick. But this is a big mold. This is a big sculpture. Um, I want to make sure that my resin doesn't break when I go to demold this. If you know what I mean. All right, I think Yeah, I'm pretty sick there. I'm pretty good. That's going to come apart pretty easy, I think. Now, these these register keys right here, that's what they call them. It's gonna make it a little bit more difficult to get out to get the to get it off. But not that bad.
Okay, too sticky, that's done. This is done, and this is done. Now it's just gotta harden, and then we're gonna demold later on tonight. I wanna make sure that this sits really a decent amount of time. I wanna make sure that this sits a decent amount of time. Now this little shallow here is really, it was thick here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably grind this way down right in this point. Oop. Running that way down. But I am done. And my wife is bugging me. She wants to go get some beer because the Phillies game's coming on in a few minutes. And we are gonna go. Oh. Get ready to go watch the game. That's actually a good thing to do right there. Just learn a new trick. Just took away all those sharp edges. Bring that around, do the same thing here. It's already, it's already curing. Okay, boom, done, done, done. I still got another like one container of plastic paste, and that's going to give me a really good, strong uh, mold. And then I'll come back tonight and we'll do, well, I might have to wait till tomorrow. I have to look at the cure time on this resin. I definitely want to make sure it's at full strength because if it's not at full strength, it can crack real easy. So, yeah, I think I have to wait at least, a, I have to wait till tomorrow. I need 24 hours to let that really harden up. You can't rush this, you really can't. Um... I'm not rushing at this point. Are you kidding me? Two years of work? Uh-uh. Now's not the time to get impatient. All right. So, guys, I will catch you again. When are you making part four, buddy? Part four? I don't like that mask. I won't even waste my time with it. Uh, how are we doing, Tony? Okay, that was part of all your questions there. Hold on. Howdy, how's it going? What are you working on today, guys? Uh, you're not covering the red part. No, no, not covering the red. That That is a silicone uh, nipple that sticks out. And reason for that nipple is when you go to push, let me, let me get over by the... Come on, get out of the way. When this hardens, there's two nipples on each side. And what I'm trying to do there is by, I'll push that through the, through the, uh, through the hard shell. It'll, it, it'll be a hole there. I'll push that through the hard shell. And that'll keep the silicone from collapsing on itself. Just in case it does. I don't think it would. It's thick enough. But just in case, like, you know, you're sloshing around... Uh, clay in there and what happens is you know if I don't have these here holding that that silicone out against this mold real good you can end up with a bunch of uh, you know deformed heads and you don't want that so those are there for a purpose and you don't want to bury them um, you just want to kind of work around them all right I am jumping off of here you guys have a great day and I will see you tomorrow when I go to demold this thing so peace. And my wife's uh, impatiently waiting for me. <laughs> so I got to go. All right. Peace, everybody. Hit the like, subscribe, share the content. Uh, hopefully you learned something from this today. Uh, but thank you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.